Welcome to getting started with FME Server. In this four-part tutorial, we will cover some basics of FME Server. We will take a tour of the FME Server web user interface. We will run a sample workspace from the FME Server web user interface. We will publish our own workspace from FME Desktop to FME Server and then download the data. We will modify our workspace so that users can customize their data download. And finally, we will set up a schedule for when our workspace will run. Let's get started with FME Server. If you would like to follow along with your own FME server, there are a few prerequisites that are required. First, you must have FME server and FME desktop installed, and it must be licensed. If you do not have FME server or desktop, but you are interested in trying it out, please visit our website for a free trial. You should also have a sample workspace to upload onto FME server. If you do not have your own workspace, download the sample data below this video. We will be using this data throughout the tutorial series. Some of you are already familiar with FME desktop, where you can connect to data in a multitude of formats and systems, and author a wide variety of data transformations. So we say that the power of FME Desktop is in the transformation. With FME Server, we say that the power is in the automation. This means you can take any transformation or workspace that is created with FME Desktop and run it in a wide variety of ways using FME Server. Let's get started by taking a quick tour of the FME Server web user interface. You can open up the web user interface in a couple of different ways. First, you can type in your hostname and FME server as the URL in a browser window. The hostname is specified during the installation. You can also type in HTTP colon slash slash localhost, and you can also access it from the Windows Start menu. You can find FME server in the Programs list and click on the Web User Interface. For the purpose of this tutorial, we can log in with the default author username and author as the password. If you set your username and password to something else during the installation process, please log in now using that. Welcome to the FME Server homepage. On the left-hand side, there is a menu panel with all of the tasks that you will carry out with FME Server. In the top right corner of the homepage, there are three large buttons. These buttons represent the most common tasks carried out with FME Server. Run Workspace, Manage Schedules, and Manage Notifications. Below the buttons are links to favorite workspaces recent jobs, recent projects, and the last published workspaces. These are all empty right now because this is a fresh installation. The bottom left is where you will find information about the build and version of your FME server. Scroll back to the top and check out the top menu bar. Clicking on the FME logo will always bring you back to this homepage. This menu button will collapse and expand the side menu bar. The play button will take you to the run workspace page. The star will open up a menu of your favorite workspaces. It's a good idea to favorite commonly used workspaces to find them quicker. Finally, clicking on the author or your username will take you to account settings where you can change your password, email, manage your tokens, and log out. At the bottom, on the left-hand side of the menu bar, there's a help section. Here you can access documentation about FME Server or access the Knowledge Center. The Knowledge Center is a great resource for asking for help from experts or reading articles about specific topics related to FME Server and other FME products. Okay, so let's dive in. Navigate to the Run Workspace page by clicking on the Run Workspace button on the side navigation bar. Here you will be able to run any workspace that has been published to FME Server. Choose the repository that the workspace is in. You can think of a repository as a folder in which to store related items. There are three repositories that come pre-installed with FME Server 2017. For this tutorial, we are only interested in the sample repository. Go ahead and select it. Choose which workspace to run. The workspace dropdown lists the workspaces within the samples repository. Let's select austinapartments.fmw. Select the service in which to run the workspace. This one was registered with four services, but we will discuss services some more when we publish and register our own workspace. For now, just select the data streaming service. Finally, click on Run Workspace. The workspace is executed in FME, and the results, in this case, KMZ file, is downloaded. Thank you for attending part one of this tutorial. In the next video, we will publish our own workspace from FME Desktop to FME Server.